Hi everyone. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, May 17th. Um, I'm coming at you with a poem today by a poet named Mark Doty, um, who, um, who wrote this beautiful, I think I used the word devastating poem. Um, this poem is equally devastating, I think. Um, it's, it's a, it's a sort of, um, it's an elegy. Um, and it, um, I don't know, this, this, this poem, um, this poem kind of describes the funeral of someone who I think I'd like to know. Um, and it's, it's a, a, a beautiful take on, uh, a beautiful take on, on, on not a, a character to be insulting, but a beautiful take on the, the character, the subject of, of the poem. Um, so I'm just going to read it to you. It, it's, um, so he lived, he lived, Doty lived in, in Manhattan. Um, and he was, um, he was doing a lot of writing, um, during the HIV and AIDS, um, crisis before, you know, we as a country, as a scientific community had, um, had a handle on things. Um, and so, um, I think this, this poem really kind of jumps in and, um, talks about, um, I guess like the blurred lines between like public sentiment and personally being affected, you know, by, by HIV and AIDS, especially in the late eighties and early nineties. Um, and so, you know, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful poem. Um, and so uh, I'll try to do it justice here. So this, this poem is called Tiara by Mark Doty. <clears throat> Peter died in a paper tiara cut from a book of princess paper dolls. He loved royalty, sashes and jewels. I don't know, he said when he woke in the hospice. I was watching the Betty Davis Film Festival on Channel 57, and then... At the wake, the tension broke when someone guessed the casket closed because he was in there in a big wig and heels, someone said. You know he's always late. He probably isn't here yet. He's still fixing his makeup. And someone said he asked for it. Asked for it. When all he did was go down into the salt tide of wanting as much as he wanted, giving himself over so drunk or stoned it almost didn't matter who, though they were beautiful, stampeding into him in the simple, ravishing music of their hurry. I think heaven is, a per is perfect stasis poised over the realms of desire, where dreaming and waking men lie on the grass while wet horses roam among them, huge fragments of the music we die into in the body's paradise. Sometimes we wake not knowing how we came to lie here or who has crowned us with these temporary precious stones. And given the world's perfectly turned shoulders, the deep hollows blued by longing, longing, given the irreplaceable silk of horses rippling in orchards, fruit thundering and chiming down, given the ordinary marvels of form and gravity, what could he do? What could any of us ever do but ask for it? Just a, such a such a powerful um, power, such a powerful conflict in this conflict of a setting, right? At someone's funeral, um, it's um, there's just so much so much captured in the, in the moment um, on so many levels. And so um, that, that poem jumped out to me today, um, and I wanted to share it with you. So I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Keep washing your hands. Keep putting on the masks. Social distance. You know the drill. Be well. Take care of yourself. Take care of the people that you love and, and the people around you. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for another edition of the Poem of the Day. We'll have another Monday one coming up for you then. See you then. Bye.